everyone, it's me, Darlene. It is Friday night, and I am actually trying to work on my blog. And I really don't want to do any blog designing until I just know in my head what I want it to look like, or at least what I want it to be set up like, like how I want to organize it, because I'm not a blog designer, so it could never be the way I want. Although I like really plain and simple. I don't like blogs that have all kinds of headers and images. Plain and simple. That's the way I like to go. Anyway, while I'm looking at my blog, I see some old posts, and I once upon a time had a series called Five Things You Never Need to Know About Me, and I thought, I can bring that back to life on YouTube. How does that sound? I like it. It'll be just little quick videos, random facts. I used to do just five at a time. I'll still do five at a time. But what I thought to get it started is I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the ones that I've already got on the blog. And it was cool because I didn't even really remember what I had written down. So let's see. I posted this back on March 18, 2012. I can uh, put a link to it down below this video if you'd like. Five things you never need to know about me. Number one, I have never seen the movie E.T. And I still haven't. I remember when that movie came out, of course, back in those days we went to rent VHS movies. And that one was like, you had to like reserve it. I mean, it, there was just, everybody was watching it. It was impossible to get. I didn't go to the movies to see it, so we just always thought we would rent it. We never did. I've, you know, seen little snips of it on TV, you know, the little scenes with Drew Barrymore and stuff like that, but never watched the movie. Don't even really know the story. I mean, I know it's that creature and go home and is that what he says? I don't even know. Never saw it. Probably never will. Number two, and this still holds true. I have not used a dishwasher since the 1970s, even though I've always had one. I like to wash by hand. We have a dishwasher right over there. And it has been like a storage cabinet for as long as I can remember. We got it maybe in the mid-70s. My father just wanted my mother to have a dishwasher. And she always said to him, I like to just wash dishes. It's too much work to load a dishwasher. And back then, that was, oh, so I know, it had to be before 75 because we had our old kitchen. So she used to have to roll it up to the sink and connect it to the sink and then do the dishes and then we'd put it back. But then when we had the kitchen remodeled, she had it put, you know, where a dishwasher should be. We used it a little bit then, but that was it. It's storing dishes. Number three, most of you know this one about me. I love thunder and lightning and would rather have a good storm than sunshine. See, that was back 2012. I still feel the same. You know that. <laughs> Number four, some of you know this about me. I like the smell of skunk. I actually wrote, I sort of like the smell of skunk. Okay, I flat out like the smell of skunk. I just do. I just do. It's kind of like sour and sickening and I like it. I just like it. If it gets really strong, it can be a little bit too much, but other than that, I enjoy a good spray of a skunk. <laughs> Not on me. That's okay. You can go spray somewhere outside. I Number five, I did not name my son until he was a week old. I couldn't think of a name that I wanted. He had a different name every day. Some days he had two or three different names. I would practice writing them, figure out how I'd want to spell it. And I was in the hospital for a week, and I thought he had to be named by the time I came out. I had a C-section, and in those days they kept you a week. And I thought I had to have him named. I didn't know I had, like, I don't know, I think it was like a month before I had to pay some kind of a fee. It's a good thing I didn't know that, because I would have left that hospital with an unnamed baby. And they just had boy Misho on the thingy, on the baby bed thing. But one of the very first names that we liked was Derek. And then after I went through so many names, I said, well, I, I would like D because my name's Darlene. So I said, he could have the same initials as me, Darlene Mishu. He has my last name. And I didn't change my name when I got married. 
So I decided on Derek, Derek Michaud. And then I thought, well, my middle name starts with S. I'll let you guys guess what my middle name is in the comments. Some of you probably know it. My middle name starts with S, so I thought, well, if he's going to have my D and M initials, he should have an S in the middle, too. So I gave him the name Seth in the middle. So Derek Seth Michaud, he came home with a name. <laughs> He had a lot of names, Cedric, um, Jared, um, oh, what were some of the other ones? I liked some weird things, but I liked Cedric. I don't know, I just liked that. And Nathan was one, um, you know, just, just had a whole bunch of different names. I had pages of names that I would just write the names, and it's like, no, that one's not right, that one's not right, that one's not right. So he ended up with Derek. At a week old. That is it for the first five. I probably have like 25 total on my blog, so I will just do the next five in the next random facts video. And then once we're done those, I'll just start coming up with some more for you. So I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, become a member of the peanut gallery. I love that. You can sit up in the peanut gallery with everybody else and you can all go crazy and heckle and laugh and do anything you want up there. But you gotta be good. Gotta behave. I will talk to you soon. Bye!